Volcanoes are fascinating geological features, but they can also be incredibly dangerous. There are around 169 active volcanoes in the U.S., and the United States Geological Survey has deemed 18 of them are at high risk for eruption. While most of these volcanoes are currently considered dormant and pose little to no danger to people in their vicinity, a few of them could result in significant disasters if they were to erupt. Here's a list of the 10 most dangerous active volcanoes in the U.S. Kilauea, Hawaii Kilauea, Hawaii is a beautiful place to visit. The island is home to an active volcano, which is one of the main attractions for tourists. It's been continuously erupting for over 30 years and is one of the most active volcanoes in the world. Kilauea is one of the most visited islands in Hawaii and is a popular destination for tourists from around the world. But be careful if you do visit. The Kilauea volcano erupted in 2018, causing destruction to dozens of buildings and forcing over 1,700 people to evacuate. Mount St. Helens, Washington The tragic eruption in 1980 of Mount St. Helens was one of the worst in U.S. history. An earthquake knocked a chunk of the mountain off, triggering a landslide and a blast that sent a tower of ash up 30,000 feet, toppling trees across 230 square miles. Succeeding eruptions sent large avalanches of hot ash, rock, and gas plummeting down the slopes at breakneck speeds of 50 to 80 miles per hour. Over 50 people and thousands of animals were killed, and damages topped a mind-blowing $1 billion. The volcano reawakened in 2004 after four massive explosions blasted a deadly mixture of ash and steam 10,000 feet up in the air. The lava that came sludging out formed a large dome on the crater floor until early 2008, when it erupted once again and filled a large percentage of the crater from the 1980 eruption. Although it is said to have calmed down now, the U.S. Geological Survey still warns visitors it's still active and quite dangerous. Mount Rainier, Washington Mount Rainier is a volcano in the Cascade Range of Washington. It's the most dangerous in the U.S. The last eruption was over 100 years ago, but it could erupt at any time and cause major damage to nearby towns and cities like Seattle and Tacoma. As Mount St. Helens showed us in 1980, volcanoes pose a very serious threat to human life. They can create hot water and rock flows that slope down the mountainside, called lahars. Two lahars from Mount Rainier made their way out to the Puget Sound after the violent eruption that took place some 5,000 years ago. Mount Rainier's potential for volatility and its close proximity to major cities make it one of just two U.S. decade volcanoes, a name the U.N. uses to designate volcanoes that are particularly dangerous to humans. While it's dormant, the volcano is still quite active. As such, it's one of the most monitored volcanoes in the nation. Before we tell you more about the active volcanoes in the U.S., be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Mount Redoubt Mount Redoubt is a beautiful yet potentially dangerous volcano in Alaska's Lake Clark National Park and Preserve. Standing at over 11,000 feet tall, this stratovolcano forms the tallest peak in the majestic Aleutian Mountain Range. It's one of the most active volcanoes in the U.S. It's been erupting for the last 10,000 years and has had more than 30 eruptions since then. The last major one was October 23, 2009. In 1966, the eruption melted ice from the volcano's summit crater and caused a glacial outburst flood known as a Jokulaup, which is Icelandic for a glacial run. Four decades later, the volcano reawakened for several months, sending plumes of ash higher than 10 miles above sea level while triggering up to 30 earthquakes a second before exploding. The danger of Mount Redoubt is that it can erupt without warning and cause a lot of damage to travelers nearby or even those who are not near but still feel the effects of the eruption. Mount Shasta, California Mount Shasta is a snow-capped volcano in the Cascade Range of Northern California, just south of the Oregon-California border. The stratovolcano is the second highest peak in the state and also one of the most active volcanoes in North America. It last erupted in 1786, and in the past 10,000 years, eruptions have increased from 80 a year to 250 a year frequency. Future eruptions, like those that have occurred in the last 10 millennia, will likely create pyroclastic flows, lava flows, deposits of ash, and domes. The flows could damage low-lying areas up to 13 miles from the summit. This would all but obliterate the city of Shasta, which sits at the base of the volcano. The Mount Shasta Volcano Observatory monitors Mount Shasta's activity and warns people about any potential dangers that may arise from an eruption. Mount Hood, Oregon 
This 500,000-year-old stratovolcano is located about 50 miles east of Portland, Oregon. It last erupted in the 1790s, right before Lewis and Clark reached the Pacific Northwest in their historic journey. Historically, Mount Hood's eruptions have been somewhat irregular, but the USGS points to two eruptions as offering a bit of perspective on potential future ones. During an eruption that occurred around 100,000 years ago, Mount Hood's north flank and summit collapsed, launching a lahar down its slope into the Hood River Valley, through the Columbia River, and into Washington's pristine White Salmon River Valley. Another eruption that occurred 1,500 years ago, albeit smaller, produced another lahar that managed to move boulders as big as 3 meters wide, 30 feet above the river's typical level. In the process, the entire Columbia River was pushed northward. Even though the volcano is too far away from Stumptown to smack it with a lahar, it could still potentially pepper it with rock fragments, ash, and dust, just like Mount St. Helens. The Three Sisters, Oregon Oregon's Three Sisters volcanoes may have a pleasant-sounding nickname, but they shouldn't be taken lightly. They're located in the Cascade Range and typically lumped together as a singular unit. Even so, they each formed at a different period of time from a different variety of magma. The Middle and North Sisters haven't erupted in what scientists estimate to be 14,000 years, but the South Sister is known to have erupted only 2,000 years ago, and thus is considered to be the one most likely to erupt again. The Middle and South Sisters have been sporadically active over tens of thousands of years. This means there is a real chance they could erupt rather explosively and produce massive lava domes that could give way to pyroclastic flows. The South Sisters' most recent eruptions have caused rocks more than 7 feet wide to rain down from the sky as far as 25 miles away from the crater. If a new eruption were to occur, it could possibly endanger nearby towns in a matter of minutes. Accutan Peak, Alaska Accutan Peak, located on Accutan Island in the Bering Sea, is home to a few coastal towns reliant upon a sizable fish processing plant as their primary source of income. It's also home to one of the most active volcanoes in Alaska and the Aleutians. The 4,274-foot-tall stratovolcano has experienced more than 20 eruptions since 1790. It erupted almost a dozen times just between 1980 and 92 alone. While it's been relatively quiet ever since, aside from a volcanic inflation event in 2017, there are signs it's still very much active. In 1996, a seismic swarm event took place that caused significant damage and prompted some locals and employees of the fish plant to hightail it off the island. On Akutan Island, there are still a number of hot springs and active fumaroles. The Alaskan Volcanic Observatory has further reported multiple instances of notable seismicity in recent years, including over 100 seismic events in 2008 alone. Makushin Volcano, Alaska If you head southwest from Akutan Island, you'll find yourself at the significantly larger Unalaska Island. Here, an enormous snow-covered volcano named Makushin rests. The volcano stands at about 6,000 feet high and is worthy of being on a postcard. With its broad, dome-like appearance, it stands in stark contrast with the steep-sided volcanoes that surround it. On the island is the Aleutian Islands Population Center, Unalaska. There have been numerous eruptions at Makushin Volcano in the last several thousand years. A few have resulted in pyroclastic flows. Around 8,000 years ago, an eruption occurred that scored a 5 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index. And in case you're curious, that's pretty bad. Since the late 18th century, there have been quite a few small to moderate-sized eruptions here, the most recent of which occurred in 1995. The volcano's eastern flanks and summit caldera are still littered with high-temp geothermal areas that indicate areas of volcanic activity. Since an eruption would compromise the health and livelihood of the residents of Unalaska, Makushin is ranked as a very high risk. Mount Spur Mount Spur is a volcano in Alaska in the Aleutians, standing tall at over 11,000 feet above sea level, that has erupted twice in the last 60 years. It's erupted several more times over the previous 8,000 years. The scary thing is that it's located just 80 miles west of Alaska's most populated city, Anchorage. The first modern eruption was in 1953, and it caused significant problems for travelers because of the ash thrown into the air. The second eruption was in 1992, and it also caused major problems for travelers because of the ash, but this time there were also flows of hot lava that came down. These flows created lahars, and as we established, these fast-moving hot mud flows pose a serious risk. Now it's time to hear from you. Which one of these volcanoes sounds the most scary to you? 
let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.